there is a lot of of misconceptions about what this means. Okay. So, uh, so the, the first of all, there's two query services. Well, now there's three, and we'll talk about the third one a lot over the course of this presentation. But classically, there were two query services in Cognos. There's CQM and DQM, right? And CQM was introduced with maybe ReportNet, um, and and is kind of the 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 longest running query service in Cognos. And then DQM came out in Cognos 10. Um, and that is, you know, CQM runs in 32-bit and DQM runs in 64-bit. And so a lot of times what people would do is um, uh, they they would go and say, okay, um, well, I want to say I'm doing DQM, so I want to set it to 64-bit. Or I'm doing CQM, I want to set it to 32-bit. That seems like it would be cut and dried like that, but it's really not. So here's the way this works. If you set this to 64-bit, what you're doing is you are putting it into 64-bit only mode, okay? It cannot process 32-bit queries. It cannot execute CQM queries. It can't. Here's our, you know, our Cognos sandbox at PM Square. It's set to 64-bit. We have no CQM content. Um, we, have, we have none of that stuff in here, right? So we can confidently set it to 64-bit, knowing that there's no CQM, uh, that there's no CQM traffic, no CQM queries. However, if you've had Cognos for a long time, you'll probably see that this is set to 32-bit. In which case, the same rule does not apply. 64-bit means 64-bit only. 32-bit means 32-bit and 64-bit. So that's not clear at all here. Um, they should really rename this to like, like dual query mode and DQM only mode or something like that. If you come in here and this says 32 bit, my recommendation is don't change it. Uh, because you probably, you know, you've had Cognos for a while. There's a great chance that you have some DQM or CQM 32 bit queries. And if you change this to 64 bit, you're going to make it so that those queries can no longer run, right? So I would leave it as 32 bit. Now you might say, well, if I switch it to 64-bit, aren't I gonna get a big performance enhancement? And the reality is no, because when you leave it to 32-bit, keep in mind, it can still process 64-bit queries. So you're not losing anything. Now the situations where this really came into play um, was when you had dynamic cubes. If you have dynamic cubes, which probably most of you don't, but if you do, those can only run on a 64-bit server. So that is something that um, that is definitely uh, that you have in there uh, that you're going to want to, you know, if you have those, then you need that, but otherwise it's not necessary. The other thing is, um, so the report server execution mode on 64-bit, if you are creating very large, say very large CSVs, for example, sometimes setting this to 64-bit, like I've been told can theoretically help, but I've never actually tested that out. I'm a, I, I don't know, I, you know, but that is something that I was told at some point in my career that lodged in my head. Your mileage may vary on that one. Um, but overall, if it says 32, unless you have a really compelling reason to switch it over to 64, I wouldn't do it. Now, if you're, in, if you're installing Cognos Fresh for the first time, I'm not sure if this defaults to 64-bit now, um, but if it doesn't, I would set it to 64-bit just so that you'd never d dive into the CQM mode, right? If you don't have any CQM content, don't start creating it. And if you set this to 64-bit, you'll make it impossible for that content to process, which in a way is actually good because you don't, you don't want to accidentally make it anyway.